back on the right stand here on the CNN News 18 and Federal Bank Prime Time Studio and we turn the spotlight towards uh, Kerala where tragedy struck Wayanad. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, at least 106 deaths so far have been confirmed by officials after massive landslides triggered by heavy rains hit Kerala's Wayanad district. Kerala Chief Minister Pinarayi Virgin in a briefing as held a short while ago said that the Kerala Bank has already contributed 50 lakhs towards the CMDRF. The Chief Minister of Sikkim has pledged about 2 crore rupees and Tamil Nadu Chief Minister M.K. Stalin has promised about 5 crore in aid. In response to the disaster in Vyanad, the state has also declared two days of official mourning. Public events and celebrations have been postponed and the Chief Minister has requested anybody and everybody unless absolutely necessary to desist from travelling towards that region. Now, how uh, deadly is the landslide in Wayanad and how was it triggered? What happened is that there was a landslide at the Chural Mal, uh, a first, uh, that was first reported around 2 a.m. Second landslide was at the Mundakal uh, region at around 4.15 a.m. Now, landslides buried a large area under debris. The worst affected are the Mepadi area, the Mundakal area and the Chural Mala area. Uh, also, the Atamala and uh, Kunhome areas were also uh, affected. The bridge connecting these two regions with the rest of the areas was also devastated first. Mundakal and Atamala areas were fully isolated after the bridge was uh, demolished or destroyed because of this landslide. A rescue and relief operations uh, have uh, started and it's on a war footing. There is a 250-member NDRF team comprising of fire and rescue department, civil defense and NDRF involved in the rescue. The army has mobilized four columns for rescue. 225 personnel have been involved in the operations. Two more army columns with approximately 140 personnel on standby in Tiruvananthapuram. The army is also setting up a command and control center in Korikot. 3,000 people have been moved to relief camps. Around 150 rescued uh, from the Mundakai village, evacuated to safer places. A control centre is being established in Calicut under the Commandant Parab Regimental Centre. Army Centre, Army is also setting up a command and control centre in Koriko. Two helicopters from Sulur Air Base in Coimbatore are aiding in rescue efforts. Two teams of uh, Kanur Defence Security Corps is also currently in Vyanad. Navy's 15-member team has also uh, arrived in Vyanad. The Tamil Nadu government has assured assistance to the level of 5 crore rupees. State level control rooms numbers are also on display on your screens and we're going to take some time here. The numbers are uh, 999 these three numbers have been opened. The Prime Minister's office or the PMO has announced an ex ratio of 2 lakh rupees from the PMNRF for victims. Union Minister of State George Kurian is already travelling to Calicut. Also more information coming through that around 130 soldiers are moving towards Vyanad. Most of them will be airlifted by the Indian Air Force aircraft and the rest will be proceeding by road. Defence Security Corps Centre in Kannur with its 200 soldiers have already gone to the affected area and the Territorial Army 122 Infantry Battalion Madras, they are also present currently. The Indian Coast Guard, ICG District Headquarters, Kerala and also Mahe and the Indian Coast Guard Station, Beipur, have been dis have already dispatched disaster relief teams or DRTs to the landslide affected areas in this region in Kerala. The DRT comprising of highly trained ICG personnel or the Indian Coast Guard personnel and dedicated medical team have been mobilized to provide immediate relief and support to the communities impacted by the disaster. Two IAS officers have been deputed by the Karnataka state government to assist search operations in Vyanad, an official from Madras Engineering Group or MEG and two junior commissioned officers, JCOs and 70 officials of various ranks have also been deputed for the search operations in Vyanad. You're seeing these pictures, they are horrific, ladies and gentlemen. And have a look at some of the drone visuals that also show the trail of devastation. Now, this is the entire landmass. Everything's been flattened. It's just been flattened. Roads, homes, bridges, everything flattered because of this sudden deluge and also the landslide that's happened. There are also visuals of dramatic rescue operations that we can witness. Uh, there is a lot of water, a lot of muck, a lot of sludge and damaged all of this using ropes. Uh, there has been rescue operations, people who have been stranded somewhere uh, 
mid river mid stream and then they're being helped to go across there is also rain consistently continuous rain that can be witnessed dramatic visuals of a school and a temple totally inundated after this entire vinard landslide and then there are staff and people who are injured and uh, aged who are now being moved uh, with rescue personnel coming to help most importantly because they are all from diverse backgrounds the rescues operations need to be coordinated under a central command despite people coming from various backgrounds and you can see the level of uh, disaster that's struck by not this region Large, largely ndrf and sdrf teams which are present along with the other relief teams and rescue teams there are also volunteers locals who are trying to help there are visuals also of vehicles that have been overturned they're stuck in this entire mud slide all across and it's all happened in a matter of minutes people have not even had the chance to react and uh, nobody is expected this kind of uh, 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 you know fury of nature un you know unleash itself look at this look at this jeep the way it's been totally demolished and this is all the sludge and the waste that's been left behind after in the aftermath once the water is receded this is the whole amount of sludge and muck after this mud slide that's been left behind and all of this will now have to be cleaned up and soon and you can also see there is incessant rain that's going to uh, really hurt rescue operations or hamper rescue operations amidst that look at the bravery rescue professionals people standing on both sides and uh, they are winching them using cable using whatever po methods possible and the force is trying to help stranded uh, locals who who've just been divided this was all not river uh, this was all not riverine uh, until about 24 hours ago uh, there was a clear path there were roads all of them gone ladies and gentlemen all of them gone so post the uttarakhand floods the the extent of the devastation somewhere mirrors this in the south of our country in kerala moving on a changing tack and we'll continue to get you updates of what's happening in why not with uh, with respect to the rescue and relief operations but uh, also in the national capital days after three upsc aspirants died due to flooding of the basement of the rao's ias coaching institute in delhi's old rajendranagar cnn news 18 has tracked down a property owned by a local aam aadmi party councilor aarti chavla she lives just about 500 meters from the incident area so far she is nowhere to be seen she is not even come to meet the students who continue to remain uh, sitting there in dharna and in protest this property and cnn news 18 has been able to go ahead and investigate this this property has a lot of illegal construction sheds and rooms have been made on the terrace which have been rented out to students rooms have been created individual rooms and it's quasi commercial establishment the basement is being used for commercial activities because there are air conditioners installed and there is the exhaust that is visible each floor has been given on rent to different people property just 500 meters away from the site of the incident and the mcd uh, it's escaped the mcd's notice how is that possible arthi chavla so where so far nowhere to be found where is arthi chavla is a big big question have a look at the cnn news 18 exclusive report the lens on the missing aap councilor illegal construction on the property sheds and rooms that have been made on the terrace rented out to students each floor has at least four to five different rooms the basement is being used for commercial activities each floor being given rent and each of these rooms rented by students largely property just 500 meters away from the site of the tragedy have a look at uh, this ground report over the last few days the one question that is being repeated many a times is to who is responsible for the deaths of the three students who were studying at rao's is coaching center we have been pointing out the severe lapses that have been made from the side of the mcd and now to answer those questions uh, we have arrived at one location this location actually belongs to aarti chavla aarti chavla is the local councillor of this entire area belonging to the aam aadmi party this massive building that you are seeing right behind me actually belongs to her you can imagine that if at all someone even dreams of building a floor above the perm uh, permit limit then all hell breaks loose on that person starting from the mcd to the police officials each and every person will come and will ask for some sort of money or some sort of benefit from here but out here this building that you are seeing has five floors is what we have uh, been told in fact in the terrace as well there are rooms that have been made all of them have been rented out some to coaching centers some to students in fact the basement of this entire uh, 
uh, building is also working and yet again this basement is illegal because most of the basements that are that have been used all these basements are for the purposes of storages and not for any sort of a uh, commercial activity that can be done over here but you can see the condition of the basement there is a vent that has been put out over here definitely points out that some sort of commercial activity also happens over here so this is the property of arti chavla who is the local resident from this from this entire area and now she has been running this entire property churning out thousands and thousands probably lakhs of rupees of rent uh, from here and this is the basic reason why the mct did not act on time to clear the silt on the road to clear the water that have washed logged on the road this is the very clear image of corruption that is prevalent within the mct within the councillors as well and how these councillors are actually allowed to flout the norms and earn profits out of it after this report it remains to be seen if at all any sort of action will be taken against the councillor but the manner in which this entire corruption nexus has been going on within the mcd starting from the low ranking officers all the way up to the councillors this is a big nexus that is operating it remains to be seen if at all any sort of investigation will be ordered to unearth this ne nexus and eventually make sure that mcd runs corruption free 50 feet that's the height that is allowed ladies and gentlemen this is five floors each floor will be more than about 10 10 and a half feet and then also establishments at the top that is the terrace so the report says the property is five floors her residence is in the second floor or third floor of the building the property is been rented out to students multiple uh, rooms approximately 40000 rupees per room or uh, per floor is being taken on rent that's a lot of money Have a look at this. News 18 continues to track down the missing Amadi Party councillor Arti Chawla. This is the third property of Arti Chawla that we have reached over here in Old Rajendranagar area. This is on the top floor of this building. That is the third floor of this building. We'll try to get to know if she is present over here or she, or if she is not. We have been tracing her down for the last uh, few days, where she has absolutely seen. missing in action uh, where is arti chawla this is a big big question since the time this entire incident has happened she has gone under the radar no statements have been given to the media she has not gone ahead and speak uh, spoken uh, to the students as well in fact yesterday in the meeting that was convened by the mcd house as well she was not present over there the last she was seen was on a twitter post where she claimed that she is motivating uh, the mcd workers to actually go ahead and clean the drains or storm drains before the rains happen but yet again what happened is for everyone to see ma'am ye aarti chawla ji hai aarti chawla ji unki property hai nahi aarti chawla ki nahi hai owner kon hai unke affidavit mein likha hua tha nahi owner to nahi pata ye broker hai jinka naam anil chawla hai wo broker hai अनिल चावला ब्रोकर है और आप यहाँ स्टूडेंट से रेंट पे रह रहे हैं कितना रेंट दे रहे हैं यहाँ पे अप्रोक्सीमेटली फोर्टी थाउजेंड रुपीज तो ये रेंट पर है ठीक है सो एज यू हर्ड दैट दिस प्रॉपर्टी हैज बीन रेंटेड आउट बाय हर अप्रोक्सीमेटली फोर्टी थाउजेंड रुपीज ऑफ रेंट इज बीन कलेक्टेड फ्रॉम हेयर एंड दिस इज येट अगेन ऑन द फोर्थ फ्लोर ऑफ अ बिल्डिंग so that building is owned by the councillor arti chawla the broker's name is one mr anil chawla is there any connection between the two we have to wait and watch but each flat there are multiple students who are playing individual rent so collectively about 40000 rupees is being collected from every flat as per anshul's report there lens on the missing arp councillor's property that's been rented out the terrace with illegal construction rented out to students the basement is being rented out to a clinic which is again a clear violation Arti Chawla the councillor for Rajendranagar area of the Aam Aadmi Party has been missing in action for the last 3 days since the time this entire incident happened where three uh, aspiring IAS officers had to in, in fact lose their lives due to the laxity that has been shown by the MCD CNN news 18 is trying to track down the councillor who was last seen on Twitter putting a post where she had mentioned that she is in fact motivating the workers to clean the drains out here in this entire area 
the property that you see behind me in fact both these properties are owned by arti chavla herself you can look at the condition of these properties and how much is this property being uh, has been churning out money for this uh, this particular woman the basement of this area is also being used as commercial activities which is definitely illegal you can see over here that some sort of a clinic has been rented out over here which is being used uh, as as a commercial activity over here basement generally in this entire area so that's the report ladies and gentlemen the councillor for that area is missing for the last 3 days she herself is living in a property which is sir uh, rot with illegalities and illegal constructions and establishments this is the corruption that runs rot in the entire mcd system the students still are unwilling to believe that only three people have succumbed to this tragedy they believe that there were more bodies carried out they also want an account of the 40 students who are estimated to be inside that basement that got submerged because of the apathy of the officials so far nobody from the mcd has been arrested ladies and gentlemen we're going to wind up on that note stay with us brass tax follows